Why did four Republican members of the U.S. House of Representatives paint a false picture of the Water and Power Authority's purchase of four generators using federal grant funds? That's what USVI Congressional Delegate Stacey Plaskett is asking, as she fired back against a letter calling for an investigation into the acquisition addressed to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development and signed by Congressman Bry Byron Donalds of Florida's 19th District, Michael Cloud of Texas 27, Glenn Grothman of Wisconsin's 6th District, and Bob Gibbs from Ohio's 7th Congressional District. They asked HUD Inspector General Ray Oliver Davis to investigate WAPA for this, quote, potential waste of taxpayer resources. WAPA purchased four Wattzilla generating units in 2020 using an HUD grant of $74.4 million. Although the units arrived on St. Thomas in November of last year, WAPA said that they would not come online until February 2023, explaining that the protracted installation timeline at the Randolph Holly power plant was because several auxiliary facilities needed to be completed and installed first. At the time the generators landed, WAPA's Director of Project Management, Vernon Alexander, told the Public Services Commission, quote, We will be able to achieve substantial installation, substantial completion by December of 2022, and a commercial operation by February 2023. The letter, written by the congressman, however, misrepresents the facts in several instances. For example, it alleges that the units were supposed to have been online this year, even though the 2023 timeline was established from the time the generators arrived last November. Even though it provides an incorrect date for the installation timeline, the letter also curiously accuses WAPA of having no timeline at all, obviously not the case when Alexander's comments from last November to the Public Services Commission are taken into account. The letter also erroneously locates the Randolph Holly plant on St. Croix instead of St. Thomas. Congresswoman Plaskett questioned the motives of the four Republicans. Quote, I find it concerning that these members are requesting an investigation pertaining to WAPA's acquisition and installation of four Wartzilla generators, particularly since none of them have shown any interest or concern regarding our territory at any point. Plaskett noted that all four were members of the House Oversight Committee, so they could, if they had legitimate concerns, have used the committee's processes to get the information they needed and to ensure that the funds disbursed were used appropriately. Plaskett asserted that, quote, special interest groups were ultimately behind the congressman's missive, quote, assisting their own pecuniary interests by being destructive to the people of the Virgin Islands. The Congresswoman urged Virgin Islanders to ensure that they were not circulating information that was mere propaganda and asked them to, quote, do their own research on this issue and others in the community. WAPA has also responded to the four congressmen's letter, reiterating the February 2023 timeline, but saying that the generators could come online as soon as January if certain prerequisites are in place. The authority also said that the VI Housing Finance Authority has been overseeing the project from the beginning and has been working closely with WAPA to, quote, overcome project-related challenges and ensure timely delivery.